What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Forever Stranded Lost Souls. Oh, yeah, guys. So we are starting off here in the nether once again because that's where we are and we can't get anywhere else. Um, I've seen that there's a zombie pigment over there. Oops, did it just despawn? No, this guy doesn't seem to want to despawn. He's been hanging out for a little while now. I'm not sure why he's not despawning. Uh, but anyway, I've been working on our mom farm some more. I've expanded it out now. So we are now one, two, three, four, five, six blocks wide, six rings around our center killing point, which is awesome. So this thing works really fast now. When I go all the way up to our uh, point in the sky up here, which I had to move over, <laughs> Uh, yeah, we can fill up our entity count to about 400 in about two to three minutes So it's very fast those entity counts goes up because of mob spawning the mob drops the XP they drop etc So yeah, we can collect a lot of stuff pretty quickly now, but it's still a manual collection So while I'm up there I have to keep count on how much stuff is here And then you know once I reach a certain point I have to come back down here and then you know break this open and go and collect the dross which includes breaking the spike in there and all of that kind of stuff but it's pretty good now i did have to expand out our platform up here like i said uh because i tore down the old mob farm and i moved it about 30 well 20 blocks further away uh it was too close to um our elevator here so eventually if we kept building on to it it'd be like in this area yeah anyway so while we're up here, uh, we are too far away from mobs to spawn. Like if I'm pressing F3 and I'm looking at this entity count up here, it like never really increases. So the mobs are spawning and immediately despawning. So they're not getting a chance to fall down and land on the spike. But yeah, they do spawn every now and then, but it's very, very slow. Now, if I come over here, which is, this is like directly in the center of the mob farm. If I come over here and we start looking down, whoop, we can see that entity count, that E up here. We can see this number continuing to rise up and eh, it's going a little slow right now. It'll build up momentum here shortly, but yeah, this number will get up into like the 400 range. And like I said, just a couple of minutes. So I can just, you know, get up, walk around, get a drink of water or whatever, and then come back downstairs or well, I guess walk over here and then <laughs> take the elevator downstairs. Yep. And then we have plenty of XP. So again, I've been leveling up our different skills that we need that we have uh so here we have mining 27 gathering 27 attack 27 building 27 and i've been putting some points i think into farming was the last one but i didn't get like everything up to this level yet but yeah we're slowly but surely working on it now it would be better if we had things being automatically collected so i could just afk up there for an hour or two collect all the XP, all the mob drops, come back down, be like, oh, cool, we got this and that. And then I can use like the XP faucet or tap or whatever it's called, for instance, and then just sit there and level up without having to, to camp it like every few minutes. Um, so yeah, that's things that we'll be working on in the future is definitely trying to fully automate that. But for right now, for gaining XP, it's very, very good. Uh, so I just got done sifting all of the gravel that was in here. I think we had about four and a half stacks or so of gravel. Um, I've been trying to get some more iron. We went through all of our iron just recently when uh, expanding out our mob farm, making all of the vector plates and all of that stuff. It cost two iron per craft, and I just made like two stacks of it. Um, by the way, we've been getting a lot of raw flesh now, which is great. And I've been converting that into coagulated blood. We have all of this extra, which is amazing uh so when we need to make more vector plates in the future that'll be a really easy thing to do also we've been getting a lot of the magma creams as well we have a bunch of them upstairs in the chest next to our elevator i uh, just haven't brought those down yet but yeah we've been collecting lots of mob drops which is great but yeah i wanted to start working on getting ourselves a hammer so we can dig out things a little bit more easily we can vein mine or i guess or excavate but that's it's pretty sloppy. It doesn't do like the exact spots you want it. You're going to have to end up filling in blocks. It's just not a good time. So I definitely want to make a hammer. So yeah, I was uh, sifting out the gravel to get iron. We ended up with getting 17 more diamonds and 9 more emeralds. We can add that over here. So now we're up to 35 diamonds, which is good. That'll allow us to make a few more of the diamond meshes, if that's what we want to do with those. Um, but yeah, so let's look at this. The tool forge... This guy, this is what we need in order to make the Tinker's Construct hammers, right? So that requires seared 
bricks, seared stone, whatever. That's easy enough. Tool station's easy. But yeah, it costs four blocks of iron. So that's a thing that we need to work on. Um, so over here we have 16. I like doing it in multiples of nine. If you put nine of these ore chunks in the smelter, you'll get 18 ingots, which is two blocks, right? So we're almost there. We need a little bit more, and then we're going to want more on top of that for any additional iron needs. Previously, we've been getting a lot of our iron from our branch mining. We've been finding those iron ores. Uh, but yeah, that supply has all ran out. We are down to... <laughs> eight nuggets and one ingot over here so we need to start working on getting more iron now i think i mentioned either last episode or the episode before uh about the cobblestone generator because we were looking at this quest uh which one was it, it was saying like now that you're getting cobblestone you can craft a block breaker which automatically breaks cobblestone for you so i was like oh so we need some kind of in-world cobblestone generator which is gonna produce cobblestone blocks and this will break it for us cool but we're in the nether we can't really place down any water so unless there's another way to do it i'm not really sure why this is a thing unless we're going to go to the uh, into the overworld and that's what this is talking about i don't know anyway i did go through the mods here and we do have tiny tiny progressions a tiny progressions has cobblestone generators right so a cobblestone generator from tiny progressions just requires seven building nine gatherings not that big of a deal to place down uh but yeah that's cobblestone a bucket of lava bucket of water and glass right so that will make one cobblestone every two seconds which is fine i mean we're afking anyway for the mob farm uh but yeah it does have upgrades as we've seen before in other series um so this one requires 12 building 15 gathering and also eight more iron to make that but yeah that's just a straight upgrade then we can upgrade it further to the tier three with diamonds, right? We got plenty of diamonds now. Uh, that requires 18 and 21 building gathering respectively. Okay, so tier four, this guy right here requires blaze rods. I don't know if we'll be able to do that just yet. We'll have to farm some of those. We haven't really gotten much of those. Anyway, uh, so we can't quite do that. We need 28 gathering. I think that's just one more level. Uh, but yeah, if we ever get the blaze rods, we could definitely upgrade to that. So I think that's going to be another thing that we're going to be looking at doing here very soon. But again, that requires more iron. So now comes the point where we need to really start digging into our, our cobblestone supply here. We have 26 double compressed, which is going to turn into, I guess, th three and three quarters, three and <laughs> uh, two thirds compressed cobblestone, something like that. Uh, and then we can start using our hammers once again to go into the gravel, right? We can just hammer these directly into nine gravel each um, with the hammer. But yeah, placing these blocks is another thing. Now, I remember uh, previously we had made these stone wands. Is there a quest to make the better wands in here somewhere? I don't know. Let's just take a look real quick. I see hammers in here. There was obviously a point where we had to make those wands, but I don't know if there's any other quests. Ah, right here. Iron Builder's Wand, Diamond Builder's Wand. Let's take a look at this. Iron Builder's Iron Wand. Iron Wand. So that's one iron ingot and then two sticks in order to do that. I guess we can sacrifice our final iron ingot for that. Grab some sticks over here. All right. I'll use this crafting table. I've been liking this one more since the other one pulls stuff out of the chest and I still haven't moved it or anything. Okay, so there's a quest complete for this guy. Uh, so let's claim that. Improve on the stone wand. And then the diamond wand is the one that we really want. So let's see what that costs. I don't know if that requires the diamond ingot. No, just a regular diamond. Okay, so that's very easy. Uh, so I believe diamonds are where we're going to be... All right, the diamond wand is where we're going to be spending a lot of our diamonds because the diamond wand, you just really can't beat it. Um, This, this, and one of those. There we go. Cool. So there's another quest complete. Let's claim that. Now that wants us to do the unbreakable wand. And I don't know if we can do that yet. Unbreak. These recipes vary per mod pack. You know what? We have received nether stars, right? We did receive nether stars. And for an unbreakable wand, I think, you know what? I, you, let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to do it. We're doing it. You can't stop me. It's going to happen. Don't even try. 
So diamond, or I guess unbreakable wand. Was that the wrong one? Do we, is it want the, like the higher tier one? You are now the ultimate builder. Okay, so maybe, <laughs> maybe the one it wants, not this one. Oh, that requires 39 building. Can we not do that? Oh, I didn't even look at that. Oh my. Okay, well we made it. It doesn't even complete the quest. Mm, dang. So probably what that wants. So one nether star makes this one, but you can combine two of those into this one. And if you take two of those, I think you combine that into this one. Even though they all say the same thing, this one says unbreakable wand 13. Wand unbreakable 13. So that's two 13s, I'm sure it makes a 14. This is probably the one that it wants. Okay, well, we sacrificed another star. You guys should have stopped me. I don't know why you didn't. Anyway, <laughs> so we got some fertile potions and we get ourselves 10 more gravel. Okay, well, we made ourselves some wands. I will put this. Well, you know what? We're going to use that one. We'll put those two away for now. We'll check this one out. Um, and then we have the compressed iron hammer on us. All right, so let's go upstairs up here. We will go ahead and start melting down this gravel. I'm sorry, melting down the iron ore chunks. This takes about a minute or two to melt. It's kind of slow. I was sitting there waiting on it earlier. Uh, so let's check out the... Oh, you know what? We can't use this one, right? It won't let us. Yeah, we do need the diamond one. Dang it, I forgot about that. So I guess 39 building is a thing that we're going to have to look at leveling up to here pretty soon so we can get use out of that nether star. Oops. Okay, well, we'll use this one. That has 10 building requirement. All right, we'll go back upstairs. I think upstairs is just going to be a lot easier for us to do this stuff. Downstairs in our ship just doesn't have a lot of room for moving around. Mm, 10. Okay. Oh, I don't have a slab. Uh, how do we do this? I kind of want to... Well, I guess we can do it like that. That should be fine. So, yeah, we can place blocks upwards. And now this will do, like, all of these blocks, which is great. <laughs> All right, so that's all of the blocks placed. That took just seconds, right? It's so much faster than the way I was doing it previously. And then we'll go ahead and vein mine and get an explosion of gravel all up in our faces, which is great. Oh my goodness. We're not gonna have enough room for all that. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, well, you know what? I'll just finish up doing this and then we'll find a spot. You know what we can do? We can turn the gravel into compressed gravel. I do believe, right? And then we can uncompress it when we go to sift it. Uh, you can you can sift the compressed gravel. I don't think I want to do that because you really do get less out of it. And since we don't have a cobblestone generator set up yet, I don't want to be wasteful with it. You get less out of it, but you get stuff faster. So maybe late game when you're getting all the gra- Whoa, what just- Really, what just, what just hit me? I am so very confused right now. Okay, uh... <laughs> so anyway, me... Why? Is there something here? I don't get it. Is there something on me that's causing this? It seems like... When I, is it the torch? Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. That is so strange. Oh my goodness, is there like an invisible mob shooting at me or something? I, oh, you know what? Maybe it's one of those, uh, the mobs, the sparklies that are nearby. Maybe it's one of those. I'm just within range and it's setting me on fire. I have no idea though. Anyway, or there could be a monster in our smeltery, I guess. I honestly don't know. <laughs> so, now that that's over with... Uh, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to uh, sift this gravel. We're going to try and collect all the different resources and try and get some iron going on. So let me get to that. Yep, just going to sift it right here on our diamond mesh. Let me get to that and we'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. So I just went to take our compressed gravel here and uncompress it, which normally you can do. One compressed gravel should give you nine gravel. I just went to do this. Um, and I did this and I shift clicked it without even looking. <laughs> we only get one gravel per compressed gravel. It's one to one. It costs nine to make this, but only get one back. What the heck? 
Yeah, I was just looking at this. So nine gravel goes into one, but the uses for that one compressed gives you one back. That has to be intentional. That has to be intentional. I don't know why that would be the case, but that apparently is the case. So uh, I guess we will. Well, we can't even sift it because we need the heavy sieve in order to do that. We could uh, hammer that down to sand and then sift the sand. Does that give us stuff that we want here? No, we don't even get iron out of that. That's really unfortunate. I might take that and hammer it down into dust, though, because that should give us the ability to get a little bit more redstone and maybe some other things. Uh, where's the hammer? This one turns into this. And the uses for that, sifting that. Um, we can get some glowstone and some redstone. Maybe some gunpowder and redstone and some sky stone. Yeah, I'm not sure like how far away we are from getting applied energistics, but Skystone is definitely going to be a requirement for it. I might, hmm, yeah, I don't know. That's really disappointing, though. I was not expecting that. Maybe we'll hold off on doing anything with that, and I'll just sift the last of this gravel we have here. Yeah, I was just really hoping that we would be able to compress it just for some space savings and then uncompress it and come back here and finish up our sifting, but apparently that has been, uh, mind tweaked or craft tweaked or whatever it is out of this pack for some reason i'm not exactly sure why mm. oh well so this is what we have collected so far with the amount of gravel that i've sifted which is quite a lot of stuff that's a lot of iron that we have here now remember the recipes have changed in this mod pack also a lot of diamonds too um the recipes have changed in this mod pack so it's not four of these pieces makes one ore it is nine of these pieces makes one ore so not going to get quite a stack of these iron ore chunks, but we're going to get a decent amount of them anyway. And then we can double them. So that's like, you know, a stack of iron right there. So that's not so bad. And then we'll do these, which will give us like 16 more pieces or so. And some of that action here. Okay. So we have 47 iron ore chunks. That's going to get the job done for what we need right now. And we got a decent amount more diamonds, which is great. And a little bit more emerald. Yeah, so we're up to a stack plus 45 diamonds. I like it. Okay, well, the next thing is I need to take the iron ore. I need to process it up here in our smeltery, double it, turn it into blocks, and then we can look at making our tool forge. All the iron got melted down. We ended up with 12 blocks of iron. I was still getting caught on fire every now and then. I couldn't figure out what's going on. I think it might be the hibachi. I turned it off. And then I wasn't getting caught on fire anymore. But then again, I wasn't being set on fire like all the time. So I still am not 100% sure if that was the cause. But huh, anyway, I just thought I'd point that out. So we have our iron. Next step is we need to upgrade our tool station to a tool forge. So we need the tool station for the iron blocks. And then we needed three of these seared bricks in order to completely upgrade it. So now we should be able to do the thing with the stuff. And there it is. Cool. So now we have the tool forge and we completed a quest. Apparently, I guess that was one of the next things that needed to be done. I didn't even look at that. Where are we at with that tinkering? Yeah. Check it out. Tool forge. That was one of the things that needed to be done. Also wants us to make a few other parts and bits that we haven't really been looking at. Okay. Uh, so tool forge. Now that you have seared bricks, you can craft a tool forge and with it make advanced tools. That's right. And that's what I want to do. Okay, so let's pop this thing. We get ourselves some food. Those sour cream and onion potato chips, those are pretty good uh, as far as food goes. I guess they're not quite as good as this one, but they're still pretty good. Yeah, we went through those a little bit ago. All right, I'll have to find a home for those in a little bit. So now we have the tool forge. We should be able to make all of the different tools that we want to do, which is going to be great. Uh, shuriken was one of those ones that I wanted to make. Uh, we haven't got to the point where we can make that just yet. But, you know, having a ranged weapon, that's definitely going to be something that will allow us to go venture in the nether a little bit easier and be able to tackle things like Blaze and the Blazing Juggernauts without having to get right up in their face. Yeah, definitely a thing that I'm looking forward to. Okay, so next things that I want to do, I want to make ourselves a hammer. So that requires two large plates, a hammer head, and a tough tool rod uh so we need to make some stencils for these we have not done that yet so the tough tool rod let's go and shift click that over there we need to do the hammer head we'll shift click that one and again we need the large plate so that should be all the parts that we need 
Uh, we do need to go to the part builder and build these things, and then we're probably, uh, depending on the tools or the items that we're going to be using, we're going to have to cast some things out. Now, again, we're going to want copper parts on that thing. We have plenty of copper. Uh, we're going to want a copper plate, at least one, so we can get XP for mining. Even though we have a way of getting XP now, it's still going to be good because we still got a decent amount of mining to do, That at least that I want to do. Uh, all right, so copper ore chunks, we have that. Uh, we're going to need some gold. I guess I'll grab, oh, I don't know how much we're going to need. Uh, I'll grab some of that so we can cast out a thing. And then we're going to need nether rack. Normally I make cobblestone parts in order to uh, cast molds out of, but this should be just fine using nether rack for this. Uh, so the tough rod will cast out, we'll, we'll, we should cast out all these different pieces to be honest here. Uh, we should do that and we should make that. Although we'll most likely keep the nether rack hammer, but we should just make a mold out of that for later. And I think that's all we need to do for right now. You know what? Maybe we should do the knife blade. Maybe we'll look at making the shuriken. Where's the knife blade? This one? Okay, so there's a knife blade. All right, back to the part builder and we will definitely cast one of those out as well. Okay. So now that we got all that stuff done, I think I'll leave the iron down here. In case something happens, I don't want to lose it. That's kind of a, a pain to get back, right? All right. So also while I was casting stuff here, I think two zombie pigmen spawned in here. Yeah, and they were taking a lot of damage, making uh, blood in the smeltery. And then they dropped some rotten flesh, which made a little bit more. So we ended up with seven more coagulated blood from those guys, which is kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, we need two gold, two, four, six, eight gold. So I guess four of these things, uh, should be able to melt down so we can make the cast for those. I did bring the ingot cast from down below at our, uh, what is the other thing called the porcelain melter thing? Yeah. Uh, we need the ingot cast so I could cast out some more seared brick. I did add another casting basin. Pouring the iron is really slow and waiting for the iron to set so you can remove the block. Is really slow so doubling it up makes it go twice as fast so yeah uh for doing that we definitely wanted those guys up here to make extra uh iron blocks that much faster okay so we'll make the the mold out of gold that rhymes uh we'll make the molds for these different things here out of gold there's that one okay so the hammerhead that's setting up i don't think we're gonna be using anything for the hammerhead just yet probably we will Am I just being set on fire again? What is causing that? I don't understand what is going on, guys. That is so weird. All right, I'll place that one there. We'll pour a little bit more gold. We should end up with two ingots remaining. Yeah. It seems to be happening again. It's almost like there's a plant there. Because that's the same kind of thing. Like when we were stepping on those, those plants that give us the fiber... It like would kind of flash a little bit like it was setting us on fire. And then after a few times, it would set us on fire. It almost feels like that's what's going on, but I, I don't know. There really shouldn't be any, any plants under the ground here that would be doing that. Maybe there's something else causing it. Maybe it's something to do with the smeltery. Maybe it's something to do with pouring metals. Yeah, I honestly don't know. Okay, so we have all of those things done. We have a part here. We want to make a large plate out of copper. I should have had that melting already. Now I do believe that costs eight. So we need to put four of these things in there. That is way too many. Actually, you know what? We could just cast out four blocks worth of stuff. That should be fine. Yeah, let's do that. And I'll, I'll melt the rest of this down just so we have the copper for later. Okay. Let me finish this up. We'll make uh, the, the rest of the pieces that we need and we'll put it all together in just a moment. And here we go, guys. We have two copper large plates, a wooden tough tool rod, and a nether rack hammerhead. So we have everything here in order to make ourselves a nether rack copper hammer. Uh, that does require a decent amount of XP for that first level. I don't. Oh, we get one modifier. Yeah, I was looking on the wooden tough rod, and it says it does give a modifier one if that's a handle. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Is that new? I'm not really sure. I don't remember wood giving us an, an additional modifier, but I guess that's the thing that happens now. Uh, so we have all the requirements met. This thing has an iron mining level, so not really, really great. 
This one right here has an iron mining level too. So I guess we can mine all the same stuff with this guy. Uh, mining speed is pretty slow, but we'll be able to do three by three, uh, which is going to be fine. And then we'll get XP for that as well. And then we can also add on mo additional modifiers like redstone to make it mine a little bit faster. Now, I don't know how much redstone we have right now. Probably not a whole lot. Yeah, I think we need 50 of it in order, or is it 40? I can't remember. 50 or 40 redstone in order to give that a little bit of a speed boost. But I guess we should take that upstairs real quick and kind of give that a look and see how it's doing. If it's any better, I'm sure it will be better. Uh, all right, so let's do this and then we will mine out that stuff. Yeah, and then we're getting it. You know a decent amount of xp as we're doing it so that's going to be very useful for us to expand this out the way this is right now it's very very narrow i want it to go you know a little bit both directions here so we have a little bit more room to work with we'll probably end up rearranging all of this stuff so it's not it won't be like in the center of the room uh but yeah that's pretty cool uh i don't think i have any additional slabs on me hmm that's kind of a problem. We should go grab some real quick before we get a whole bunch of monsters spawning up there and just causing us a big headache. Let's grab some cobblestone here and I'll turn those into slabs. Whoops. You do that. Okay. So now we got 30 slabs. Good. Yeah. We definitely want to fill that in upstairs. I see a lot of monsters around, but none of them are up here. Good. All right. Yeah. I still am being set on fire. <laughs> I wish I knew what was causing it. Uh, I was standing like on this slab, I think here, one of these two and it was happening, but it seems really random. It doesn't happen like every time I'm standing there, just every once in a while. Yeah, honestly, still don't know what's causing that problem. Okay, so now that we have a better tool, we do have a bunch of the sharpening kits so we can always repair this thing. That's not a big deal. Uh, we need to look at getting ourselves a shuriken. That was the next thing that I wanted to do. Now, it's kind of going through all these different ones, and we got some really good ones. Like, when we get really end game, we'll be able to do, like, the Awakened one, which does 25 attack damage, or the Chaotic one, which does 32 attack damage. But we're not quite there yet. Uh, I think the highest attack damage for us at the moment would either be Manulin, which we can't get because we can't mine Cobalt and Ardite. So, I guess the uh, Demon Shuriken would be the next one, if I can find it. Demonic one. Yeah, this guy. So that's plus 9.47 attack damage. Uh, has a durability of 100. And I don't know if we can even set this thing as unbreaking. So what we might end up doing is making two parts out of this, like one part paper for extra modifiers, or maybe two parts paper, one demonic shirt or demonic blade, and then maybe another one like bone. And I think if you make it out of bone, you can repair with bone, or maybe we'll be able to repair with paper. I don't know. I guess we'll figure that out when we get there. Uh, but yeah, let's look at making some demon metal. I don't know if that's been changed in this mod pack or not, but oh yeah, every time I warp down here, we get like really low frame rate every once in a while, and that kind of fixes itself. I'm not sure what causes that. All right, so in order to do demon metal, we need to get ourselves a bucket of lava. We need to get some gold ingots, which we have a decent amount from the pigmen we've been killing, and then we need to get ourselves some nether brick which we've collected from the nether fortress this will be one of those things we'll do upstairs i believe on the nether roof there really isn't a good place to put this anywhere down here so we'll just put this over here somewhere i guess it doesn't really matter uh open lava probably better away from the trees yeah probably okay so we will do this 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 and that plus a bucket of lava in here and then all we should have to do, unless there's this change, is Q gold in here. Yeah, and that gives us demon ingots. Okay. So that's a quest that we just completed without trying. Very good. Okay, so we have four of those. I think that's going to be enough. I'll go ahead and uh, remove this and remove this stuff. That stuff is a little slow to break, isn't it? Probably should have been mined. Okay, so now we have these. We should be able to melt those down in our smeltery here to make knife blades out of. I'll just melt down all four of those. We'll make four knife blades, I think, for later. Once we make the shuriken, we get it leveled up and we can make an unbreaking. We'll probably want all of these as the uh, the, the blades on it. Uh, so we're also going to need to get ourselves the knife blade cast, which only requires one ingot per. Put that back in there. Cool. And I probably should figure out my inventory situation. I have a lot of nether rack on me that we can get rid of. 
Uh, that demon ingot is going to take a minute for it to melt down. So maybe I will just cast that all out and we'll be right back, guys. So the demon knife blades, we got all made now. And we can make our shuriken if we just go ahead and throw those all in here. But I was looking and I thought that this by default would have more ammo than it does. It only has 10 ammo. It only has 10 ammo. So that means we can use it 10 times at 10 things and then we got to repair it. That's not very good. It does have 100% accuracy and we get one modifier on there. So we could make it just like this and then put a diamond, which should give us a little bit more ammo, but I don't remember how much that is. Now I was looking if we needed one or two paper knife blades if we wanted to get writable for more modifiers. So if we put one of those on there, it drops us by two ammo and it gives us two additional modifiers. One of those gives us writable two right away. If we put a second one on there, it doesn't do anything for us other than drop the ammo down and our attack down a little bit more. So that's definitely not a thing we want to do. So we could make three demonic knife blades plus a paper knife blade to get eight ammo. And then we have to repair this with the demonic metal every single time. I don't think that's a very good idea. Not right now anyway. Uh, alternative would be netherrack. We can do this, which it gives us 34 ammo plus uh, 3.8 attack. Um, we get one modifier. If we put a paper on there, it drops us down to 26 and it drops our attack down a little bit. Uh, our accuracy is still pretty good, but yeah, I mean, only 26 ammo. We can throw one of these guys on there. Let's do that. See what that does. So we go from 26 to 20, but our attack goes from 3.2 to 4.7. If we put another one on there, let's take a look at what happens. So we go down to 14, but our attack jumps up again, another 1.5 ish. Hmm. Now the other thing is, I don't know if we do something like this, if we can just repair it with nether rack, if we can, this would be probably a pretty good thing. And then we can use one of those modifiers for a diamond. Uh, ideally I want to use all the modifiers for unbreaking and then make this thing 100% unbreakable and then eventually replace all the parts with a demon metal while it's unbreakable. And then we have a decent attack on breaking shuriken, right? That's that's what we want to go to eventually. But for right now, I think we're probably going to try this. We'll see if we can still repair that. Actually, maybe what we'll do, let's just make it like two nether rack because we can replace parts for free. We'll make two nether rack. We'll see if we can replace or we can repair it with uh, our nether rack sharpening kit here. And if that works, then we can replace another one of these one of the, the knife blades with a demonic knife blade. Get more attack, a little less ammo, and then we'll test that. So let's just make this and see what we can do with it. We need to find something to attack so we can lose some durability. Actually, I don't think we have to attack anything, do we? Maybe we don't even have to attack anything. I think we can just shoot it. Okay, so now we've used some durability. If we do, whoops, wrong one. If we do this, yeah, it looks like we can, in fact, repair it with just a netherrack sharpening kit, which is good. Okay. Take that thing back up. So let's replace another one of those netherrack parts with another demon and see if we can still repair it. Uh, so we put it there, and we'll have to look at the icon to see. We don't want to replace the paper. Uh, so replacing the paper. There we go. So there is two of the demon metal ones. We still have the paper and a netherrack. So let's do this. So we don't have full durability on this right now. You see there's a durability bar. Can we repair it? We can. Okay. So that's pretty good. So that gives us 14 ammo, 6.12 attack, three modifiers. I think we have to put a diamond on there. We need more. We need more than just that. So if we put one diamond on there, that should give us a few more ammo. I don't think it gives us 500, whatever a diamond normally gives for a regular tool. Um, so yeah, let's put this guy here and this here. So we go from 14 ammo to 64. So that gives us 50 ammo. It does use a modifier, but that'll allow us to shoot this a lot more times, which will allow us to kill things a lot more, right? And then we should be able to level this thing up. Now, how much, oh, that looks pretty cool. I like the diamond on every single blade there. How much XP f or 500? Okay. So I think we're going to do this. We can still repair this with netherrack, so we need to level this thing up. Where's the modifiers? Does it even show one here anymore? There it is. We need to level this thing up three times, and then we need to get ourselves some obsidian sharpening kits, or I guess uh, the unbreaking modifiers. So that's going to be 
Oh my goodness, that's a lot of obsidian. We haven't even been able to get obsidian yet. So for now, we'll just repair it with netherrack since netherrack is pretty much cheap and we have we have basically all of the netherrack that we will ever need yeah, to keep repairing things. All right, so in order to level this thing up, I do need to attack things. <laughs> so I guess it's going to be going out to the nether, finding things, and shooting them with our brand new shuriken here, like this guy. I am kind of curious. I was able to kill that guy. I was able to kill that guy. Let's see what do we have for XP on this thing. Oh, we didn't get any XP for doing that. That's unfortunate. All right, this guy needs to drop down. Oh, yeah. So I can kill this guy from a distance. Three hits? Not a big deal. As long as I know about the guy, that is really, really good. Am I not getting XP for killing things? I got 53, I guess, for killing... The blazing guy over there. Maybe if you one hit kill things, it doesn't give you XP. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Okay, well, I feel a little, a lot more confident now about going out here. Now that I know that I don't have to run away from things. What are, uh, are those vines? I'm not sure if I've ever seen those over here before. And if I have, I don't remember seeing them. That's really weird looking. Okay, I'm looking on my mini map to see if there's anything nearby that we gotta worry about. I'm not seeing anything. Okay, we got one of those things back. And that guy did drop us uh, a blaze rod, which is good. So we'll be able to farm those guys a little bit. I do wanna get what what is that red stuff? That's gotta be like a vine, right? That is a cascuta inferum from Primal Core. I don't remember seeing these things before. Maybe they were just all the way up in the ceiling and they've grown down since the last time I was over here. I don't know. It just seemed weird. I don't remember seeing those before. Yeah, so this is going to be really good. We can also set up the mob farm in such a way where I can spawn in a whole lot of mobs, come back down, and just, like, attack them while they're in the mob farm, leveling this thing up. That might be a thing that we end up doing. But, yeah, we're definitely going to want those levels. We're definitely going to want to figure out how to get some... Uh, obsidian so we can make unbreaking modifiers for this thing and have a range attack weapon that we can just spam and not really have to worry about it guys we're gonna wrap the episode up here for today that shuriken looks really big doesn't it oh my goodness that's huge huh. yeah we got some good stuff going on here we we're able to get ourselves upgraded tools we got the tool forge we got the hammer we got ourselves a shuriken shuriken right in the face that's what it looks like when you get hit by one by the way <laughs> anyway guys that's gonna do it for today thank you guys for watching remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it and we'll see you next time thanks for watching guys bye bye <laughs>